ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Pendale Middle School. Let me just say, you're in for a treat tonight, and I'll explain why in a second. First of all, my name is Ted Heller. Uh, for a couple of years, I was the band director here at the, uh, at the high school, and I'm happily retired. But I always come back to, uh, really, just want to come back and listen to these great bands, and then they said, oh, they're coming here, let's put a microphone in your hands. So that was a mistake. Um, what I want to do is, let's go over what's important. First of all, that's Matt Clank right there, who's not sitting down. He's the he brings his fan club, and he's the choral director at North Penn High School, and uh, he's trying to get his group in here probably. Um, let's talk what's important. Go out in the hallway, turn right is the men's room. Go out in the hallway, turn left is the ladies' room. Would you please put your phone on Do Not Disturb? If you don't know how to do that, ask the 10-year-old next to you how to work your phone. Um, I want to thank North Penn TV. Uh, they cover a lot of uh, these events. North Penn TV is actually here tonight. Um, they're not live, but they're going to take this program, and you will see this um, on their YouTube channel in the very near future. So I want to thank Bob Gilmer and his team for coming out and taping for uh, tonight's event. So I want to talk to you about very quickly about how this event uh, came to be. Back in the mid-90s, uh, band directors, um, we had two jazz directors at the high school, John Joston and Pete New. Uh, they got together and they realized, why don't we put everyone together on one night and bring in a soloist? And this goes back um, about 20 years now. Um, one of the first soloists was um, Chris Vidala. So if you know Chris Vidala, or if you know the name Chuck Manjone, the album Feels So Good, he was on, he's on that album. He was a soloist here. Dennis de Blasio played in the Maynard Ferguson band, um, also as a soloist here. Matt Gallagher, um, the local lead trumpet in uh, the uh, Philadelphia area, has soloed. John Swana, Ron Kerber, uh, the list goes on and on. And tonight, we got a special treat. And what will happen is we'll hear our soloists, we'll hear the bands, and then also uh, take a moment and talk to uh, the people in charge and find out um, find out uh, some of the history of uh, what they've done this year and what they look forward to be doing. So, what I'm going to do, I'm now going to turn the program over to the Bridal Path Nap Jazz Band under the direction of Mrs. Allison Kirshner. Thank you so much. Uh, this first tune is called Baby Blues, and it's going to feature Anthony Byers on the piano, uh, Logan Morris on the alto sax, and Hazel Harris on the trumpet.
while we get ready for the second tune, I want to talk to uh, Ms. Kirchner about uh, my first question for you is, uh, can you tell me a highlight uh, of your group this year? Uh, yeah, we have a big highlight coming up next week. So this uh, group was actually chosen to perform at the Pennsylvania Music Educators Conference, which is a yearly event. Um, that is happening, thank you. Um, that is happening next week in Erie. So we will have a nice long bus ride uh, to Erie, along with uh, Pendale Middle School's jazz band and their camarada. So congratulations to the camarada and Pendale Jazz Band as well. And I'd also like to give a shout out to any of my jazz band members that were in this group last year, because without you, we wouldn't be going to Erie this year. So they always use a recording from the year before to pick the band. So if I have any, any parents, any members out there from my band last year, thank you so much. I appreciate all your, your help and your awesome, amazing performances. Um, is that a day trip or is this an overnight trip? Oh no, this is my first overnight trip with elementary school students. You enjoy that. <laughs> you enjoy that. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to have you uh, introduce your soloist. Um, our guest soloist for tonight, will he be recognizable as a student or do you think he'll be clearly uh, a standout? We'll, we'll know who he is. I'm pretty sure you're going to know who he is. Okay, all right. Alright, so this next tune, uh, more of a rock chart, but um, it's called Listen Here, and it's going to feature uh, five soloists. So we're going to start with Liam on the alto sax, then we're going to go to Xander on the valve trombone, then Will on tenor sax, Izzy on tenor sax, and then finally our guest soloist, uh, Mr. Jonathan Fraganis, also on tenor sax, tenor sax on the mic. All right, so this is Listen Here. Thank you. 
transition to the next group, but before we do, let's talk to our soloist. Come on over here. Oh, I just, yeah. uh, first of all, whatever happened to the basketball scholarship? Yeah, that's a common question. <laughs> uh, the thing is, I started practicing before I got serious about sports. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have a break? <laughs> um, where are you from? Are you from this area? I'm originally from central Pennsylvania, around Harrisburg. Yeah, gotcha. Um, Eagles fan, Steelers fan, and we're judging you. <laughs> you know, the good thing is I moved to New York when I was 18, so I didn't have to think about it anymore. So when I came back to eastern Pennsylvania, you know my answer. We just want to make sure we hear Eagles. <laughs> there we go. What brings you, what brought you into this area? What brought me into this area was my work at Westchester University. I teach at the Wells School of Music. Uh, for many summers when I was living in New York City, I used to come back and teach at the summer camp there. And it's uh, a really great, great place. And I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to, to teach there. And uh, so we moved from Manhattan and came to Westchester almost five years ago. What about Central PA? What area? What high school did you go to? Well, I went to a, a Catholic high school there, only because all my uh, my mom had gone there and my sister, so they kind of forced me there. But I went to a place called Trinity High School. Um, it had a small music program, but I mainly learned from uh, the musicians in Harrisburg area. I would go out and play at night. Was there a band program, or was there someone that got you going into this music scene? Yeah, there was a band program, um, but really the musicians in Harrisburg, the professionals, I, I kind of started. My parents were lucky enough to, to have a kid who said, can you take me to this club when I was 13, 12? Wait a minute. Yeah, exactly. And they, and they did. They took me there, so I met the musicians, and, and they were jam sessions, and then they would take me to those jam sessions. And... So if we get a busload of people going to Harrisburg tomorrow, where would we want to go? Where would we want to listen to some good jazz? That's a really good question. There's a really cool theater that has a, a big band that plays there, um, I think, two times a month. It's called the West Shore Theater. There used to be a really cool club that closed since I moved, which was a, a bar in the Hilton Hotel. That was for 25 years. They had seven nights a week music there. And that was where I learned how to play. Yeah. Jonathan, I'm going to let you go, but we'll bring you back later on. All right? Thank you very much. Uh, we have another group coming out. We have the Gwinnett Square Inglewood Elementary Jazz Band. And they are under the direction of Mrs. Jordan Fakish. All right, thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. 
Um, I have kind of a weird introduction to this song. Um, we are the Gwyneth Square in Inglewood Jazz Band. We are so excited to play for you. This is actually our first performance in Club of this season. And we're gonna open the show with a song called Bones Jones. However, over the season, um, this song has morphed into, uh, this is just an inside joke, you're gonna have to bear with me for a second. So, this started because our second tenor saxophone playing the bass player, and he's, he's waving at you. Uh, his, his name is Kai Jones, okay? The song is called Bones Jones. So, over the season, this is what the title of the, of the song has morphed into, and they've made sure that I get this absolutely correct before we play. This song is entitled, Trombones and Kai Jones plus the saxophones, but unfortunately no baritones, sousaphones or xylophones, and absolutely no cell phones. But we do have ice cream cones. <laughs>
I like to say that the highlight was the workshop with the senior. <laughs> but we all know it was the pizza party. Uh, unfortunately, I was not there with them that day. I had a family emergency that day, but they, uh, Mr. D. Valentino, took incredible care of them that day. And um, that was, I think, I think the highlight so far of the season. This is actually our first performance, and they all happen this week. So if you like what you heard, you are welcome to come see us again. Um, Thursday evening at Gwinnett Square Elementary. We also have a couple in school with performances. Um, so this is this is our week. This is our buildup. We've been working towards this week. So, so at the end of the season, at the yes. end of this week. Gotcha. Yes, gotcha. The beginning and the end of our season this week. Well, I'm going to turn the program back over to you and your band and your guest soloist. All right. Thank you very much. We are incredibly honored to be able to play with Mr. Raganese tonight. We are also going to focus on um, Soleil Bigelow is our featured soloist in this next tune called September. If you've ever been to a wedding, you've heard this song. <laughs> so feel free to sing along. Um, this is September. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome the Pembroke Jazz Band under the direction of Mr. Tim Jernigan.
Jones here with Mr. Jernigan as they get ready for their next tune. Uh, Mr. Jernigan, this is, uh, tonight's your night. You get to host this event even though it's not at your school. Why is it not at your school? So the one thing about, uh, obviously, our three middle schools is space a lot of times, and we need a bigger boat at two of our schools. Uh, but we, obviously, with this great crowd out here tonight, and all these folks that are interested in seeing these young performers tonight, we need this big stage and this big auditorium, so we always are able and grateful to Pendale for hosting us here on these nights. So what becomes your responsibility as the host? So as the host, uh, it was really finding the guest artists, which was a little bit of a challenge at first. I had first uh, found a trumpet player named Dan Wright, um, and we originally got him on the ball, and just like the music world happens and the gig world happens, uh, he got called for a rock orchestra gig that was touring all around the South, uh, like the South of the United States. Uh, so he obviously was like, you know, it was tough. So we were say, hey, you know, he's a good friend of mine, so I found Mr. Agnes, who I was lucky to have studied for the past two years under the Criterion's Jazz Ensemble at Westchester University. Um, and just hearing, seeing him as an educator and a performer, I, he was one of the first guys that we thought of. And he was great to bring in and work with the kids. It was awesome. So finding that artist was the biggest thing. And then just the little nitty gritty stuff, like coming up with the program, coming up with the rehearsal schedule, organizing all the bands, getting the equipment here set up, all the gear and all those things. So it's a lot of behind the scenes work, but uh, it's great to see everybody here tonight. Talk to me about your band and maybe one or two highlights that you've had so far, or are you looking forward to? So we had a really great season, uh, starting out at Upper Moreland. We got some great uh, sectional awards, solo awards. Lucy McKee got several solo awards. We got a trombone section award. I know we got a rhythm section award, a flute section award as well. Um, and it's really, it's, there's very ratings throughout the majority of the festival. And we had one of our biggest fundraising uh, events at our home festival at Pembroke as well, as well with uh, really raising some good amount of money for our program. So really successful season. And we're really proud of these folks over here. I have a lot of ninth graders. Actually, ninth graders, would you mind standing up real quick? Or we in the back if you're standing up already. These are the folks that will be going on to work with Mr. Santanello next year, so I will miss them terribly, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them at the high school. I'm going to turn it back over to you for your uh, second two. Thank you, Mr. Jernigan.
ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the other host, in a way, because it is their building, Mr. Robert Kennedy and the Pendale Jazz Band. Now, um, you've had other kids go 
that you might have talked to me about your uh, other children. All right, uh, Holly graduated last year, and um, she went through all the bands and played in all the bands. Marching band, wind ensemble, jazz band, everything. And Mara is currently in 11th grade, and she's the drum major of the Marching Knights, and yeah, and all the ensembles as well. So who is your favorite child? <laughs> they're all my favorite, right? Is that, they're all my least favorite at times. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Kennedy, we had a pleasure of working together for 11 years, so... <laughs> so, Mr. Kennedy, talk to me about uh, a highlight of the group this year. Uh, I think Mrs. Kirscher already mentioned we're going to uh, PMEA to play in the state convention, so that is a really big thing. I also want to say uh, one of the other highlights was getting to play um, a fundraiser at a winery, and we played like our big band stuff, we played small combo jazz, and we did it all in like December, when normally jazz bands aren't even performing yet. So that was a really big highlight. So can I assume they all got samples? No, no, they did not get samples. <laughs> Just to ask you, some of the parents had samples, but I don't know, just sure. Ellen, did you have any samples? No samples. <laughs> <You got it. laughs> samples of what? <laughs> Anything else you want to talk to me about this band? Is this uh, season over yet or what? Uh, we got three more performances, uh, this and then PMEA and then just the spring concert. So we're really at the tail end of this jazz season. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. You're up again.
Hey folks, while we uh, get ready for the next group, let's talk to our solos again. So, we got you coming out of Harrisburg. We got you clubbing, you're hitting the clubs in Harrisburg. What, first of all, why tenor sax? Oh, that's crazy. Um, first I wanted to play trumpet when I was four. That's the right answer. <laughs> I know what I am. Uh, no, I, I did and they told me I couldn't because I didn't have my second teeth yet. And so they said, learn piano. I said, all right. So I started piano and then by the time I could pick one, I had found some uh, Louis Prima. His band, you know, maybe he's known another band, whatever, the Jungle Book, all this kind of stuff. But I found all the old Las Vegas music that they used to play, because my neighbor used to go dancing to the band, and they had a, a sax player. I fell in love with the saxophone, so that started me on. So we got you leaving Harrisburg, going to college. Where'd you go to college? I went to Manhattan School of Music when I was 18 years old, so I left Harrisburg and went directly to New York City. Now I'm getting this weird feeling. You got me up here the first time I talk about bars, next time I talk about Vegas. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh, we know what's going on. <laughs> so, uh, talk to me about um, what, your, what was your major in college? I've, I've, when I first got to New York, I, I studied uh, saxophone, jazz saxophone performance, and then I was writing a lot of music, and by the time I was time to do a master's, I wanted to stay there. I, I loved that place. It was really great, especially when I was there. That time period was beautiful. A lot of incredible musicians and teachers. And so I, I started studying composition more seriously, and I stayed there for six years. So we have some parents here, their kid, the kids are up on stage, and they're thinking their kids are saying, man, I'd love to be able to play my sax professionally, you know, play any instrument professionally. Are there jobs out there? Oh yeah, most certainly. The music industry is, the, is one of the broadest industries we have. It has so many different spaces. Um, on stage you see these incredible directors, you also have professional performing musicians, you've got studio musicians, there are people who like to play on Broadway. There are also like a million other jobs that come around the music industry that require a musical mind and a musician who has had the experience and knows what to devote to it. So I mean, if somebody wants to do it, they can do it, that's for sure. So you're up in New York City, you graduate. Um, did you keep on, did you stay up there and perform? I did, I was there for 15 years. So I, I did a lot of- 15, how old are you? <laughs> I moved when I was 18. So. <laughs> I, I mean, I did a lot of writing. I, I was really fortunate that I, I got my, the generation of musicians I grew up with there are just incredible. And that's the only thing I loved about New York was the artists. Um, and it was an incredible time to be there. And yeah, I did a lot of writing and had some cool commission work and a lot of interesting um, experiences. And, and the best thing was I got to play with the people that were my mentors and heroes. And that's how you learn. So give me one memory that sticks out up in New York, musically. I don't need any Vegas or any winery visits or anything like that. I don't know where this evening went to. Wow, I don't know. They, they all kind of flow together. I think one thing that I, I've been thinking a lot about is sitting on the side of the stage getting to watch these awesome directors with the, the, the bands is how important, I don't, I mean the word mentor is a powerful word, but I love to just think about it as this kind of bond that we have between musicians, because whether someone's up here directing the band or playing in the band, we still have to put on a show and we still have to get to the end of the tune. And I vividly remember being asked to play at a, at a kind of random concert by one of my great mentors, a great saxophonist, David Liebman, who played with Miles Davis and all these different kind of people. And it was, it was time to play. And I, I showed up at the gig and there were all these luminaries and I was like, man, I'm not supposed to be here right now. And, and uh, it was, we were playing these tunes and we had no time to rehearse and we were playing and the first thing I was gonna do was step back and let them play. And I just remember I did that on two or three tunes and then on one tune he just put his hand behind my back and just pushed me forward. And then I had to play. And I just, uh, yeah, that's, that's one that sticks out. Awesome, I'm gonna bring you back one more time so you're off the hook for now. All right, <laughs> thank you.
Folks, put your hands together. Here comes the Rainbow Connection and the Penfield Jazz Band under the direction of Mr. Scott Blanke.
I don't remember seeing you up here on stage. How many years have you been directing at Penfield? One. <laughs> My first year here at Penfield. And how? Honestly, how has it been? How has it been following, you know, kind of a legend? I don't want to give Mr. Orkowski all the props, but he is a little older than me. Just want to let you know that. Um, how has it been following him? It's been very great, a little scary, knowing how well he used to do with the band and uh, how much of a connection he made with the students, but being able to follow in his footsteps, be able to work with him a little bit on picking out music and helping get the ensemble going has been a real treat. Gotcha. Talk to me about uh, the band this year. Any certain highlights at all? Yeah, um, it's been a real pleasure working with this band up here. There's a lot of returning students in here, and there's a lot of new seventh graders who have taken on some key roles, like lead alto and stuff like that. So it's been really great to have them in the band. I think uh, the best part of getting in front of this kind of band, especially these students, is going out and being able to perform with them at festivals. That was a really big part of me uh, becoming a music educator, was being able to go out. And this band has done an amazing job. We have, well, we got a Best Trumpet Section Award last Friday, Best Rhythm Section before that. Uh, Haritha on flute received two Best Soloist Awards throughout the season. Kara Norman received one Best Soloist Award on trumpet and two Best Overall Musician Awards at our festival. So it's been a real treat to have them in the band. I do want to see the ID on that girl, because the way she's playing, what grade are you in? Ninth grade. How old are you? You sure? <laughs> she sounds good. She sounds great. Your band sounds great. Mr. Earl has to be proud of you. I'll, I'll even let him know. It's on you. You're up.
<laughs> Folks, put your hands together. Here comes the North Penn High School Columbia Jazz Band. On the direction of Mr. Joe Santiago.
the high school band director. Very lucky to be the high school band. And how many years have you been how have you been director? This is my fifth year as the high school band director. And where were you before that? I taught in the Quaker Town School District for 10 years. So what makes North Penn better than Quaker Town? <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to say. <laughs> um, what, uh, talk to me about North Penn High School. What's going on at North Penn High School? There are awesome things happening at North Penn High School. Most of them have to do with music. We are so lucky to have an amazing music program at the high school, and I think you can probably tell why. We had two amazing elementary bands here tonight, uh, three amazing middle school bands. We have so many great teachers in the elementary schools and the middle schools. By the time the kids get up to me and Mr. Clank and Ms. Milburn, uh, we just get to have a lot of fun. There's, there's really awesome things happening musically here. Talk to me about the uh, marching band component that you run. I'm so happy you said that. Are there any Marching Knights fans in the audience? <laughs> Are there any Marching Knights on stage right here? Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but we have an awesome marching band at the high school, and if you out there, kids, or parents of kids, uh, have, if you're in eighth grade or ninth grade right now, you are eligible to be in the Marching Knights next year, and I have an awesome opportunity for you. This Friday night, you can come out to the high school, 6 o'clock, in the high school band room. You can meet all the kids that are in the, in the marching band now. We're going to play a whole bunch of fun music, and you can just kind of check it out and see if Marching Knights is for you. Come on out this Friday. Talk to your band director about signing up. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, I think we're going to have about 120 people in the marching band this year. Awesome. Where are we going and what time on Friday night? We're going to the high school, 6 o'clock, band room. We'll see you all there. So what happens if, um, like, I'm on the uh, water polo team or something? I said, that's enough water polo for me. I want to try marching band. How do you, how do, you do that? Uh, listen, just show up. We, we take everybody in the marching band. Um, we, we don't cut anyone. We don't do any auditions. If you love music, if you love band, if you were in the jazz band tonight and you love it, then you're gonna love the marching band too. And, and we take everybody. You don't even have to try out. Awesome, Joe. Thank you so much. Let's turn it over to you. Let's do it. Right, let's do it. Thank you. 
like I said, we're all up here doing the same thing, trying to get to the end of the tune. That's you know, what a joy. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Solo was tonight. Thank you. Thank you.
Martino. Let's give the audience a little bit of history lesson. First of all, Mr. Frederick, Steve Frederick, started a jazz band back in the early 70s, like 72. He was director for 16 years. I had the pleasure of running it for five years. Mr. Jostin ran it for over 20 years. What year is this for you? Uh, I believe this is number nine. All right, the ninth year. How does this band stack up to your other bands? Well, we have a lot of energy, that's for one. Uh, but no, this is uh, this is probably one of my best bands I've had since I've been here. So just an overall package of that, you know, yeah, I mean, you've, you heard that too. That's a college level too. That's a good one. So talk to me about uh, a highlight or two uh, of the, uh, the season for you. Uh, well, we, we've been doing the Steel Stacks High School Jazz Band Showcase. Where? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's up in Bethlehem at the Steel Stacks uh, Music Fest Cafe. And they have like four preliminary rounds with about 20 bands that perform throughout those four rounds. The top five uh, bands get invited back for finals. And this year, uh, we were the crown the overall, overall band. Congratulations. Time. All right. Um, this is a busy week. Yeah, it's a real busy week. Um, the Masters is this week. Can I assume you're canceling lessons Thursday and Friday? Nothing's happening here. Nothing's happening. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Band sounds great. What's up next? On the edge. Uh, before I do that, um, I just like to say a big thank you first of all, because um, this band doesn't. The high school bands don't get to this level without what's happening underneath them, and, and that's why this night is such a success. And we, uh, we love doing it. Like I was up in the balcony watching all these kids come up on a stage and perform. So our elementary band directors who run elementary jazz bands—that's like unheard of around here in the band world. Doing an elementary jazz band. So kudos to them for doing that Friday mornings. Yeah, Friday mornings. And then obviously, as you heard, our three middle school jazz bands, uh, those middle school jazz bands are doing like a lot of high school level charts. Um, so as you heard from the size of all those bands, they were ginormous, which is awesome, right? But all the kids that are soloing and what it takes to get those middle school bands to sound like that, working with the rhythm sections and the drums and the guitars and the bass and the piano, teaching those the rhythm section stuff on top of their day-to-day -day jobs. And middle school band drivers, I, I see Mr. Kennedy every day. He's losing his hair over it, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll get him there. But uh, give him a big hand for the middle school directors. And I, I know it's a long night, but I, I do have to say thank you to, to Joe Santanello, the high school band director. I teach here during the day, and then I get to go up after school and work with this fabulous band. But they sound like this partly because, all because of what is happening in the day-to-day -day job up at North Penn High School. And Mr. Santanello is killing it. So give a hand to Mr. Santanello. Yeah. And then lastly, uh, we have a, a lot of private teachers in our area, and I know a couple of them are here tonight. If you teach some of our kids private lessons, can you stand up or raise your hand, please? Because I know, we have, yes, Mr. Richardson, yes, Jones, Mr. Kirschner, Mr. Planky, yeah, Mr. Essek, yes, up there in the balcony. Seriously, a lot of these kids get to the level because of what they're doing outside of their day-to-day -day job. job school day on their own. So thank you to all those people. Thank you to my mom for coming out late tonight. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Always. Uh, here we go. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.
Folks, you want to relive this? Check this out on North Penn TV. We're going to re uh, rebroadcast this performance if you want to check it out. Make sure you have a safe ride home. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting North Penn, High School, North Penn School District Jazz. Special thanks to our guest soloist tonight. Round of applause.